Okay, this is before. This is with all the air out of the bags. As you can see, it's got quite a sag to it. So I'm also gonna try it with the extended drawbar on it and see if that transfers some of the load back further. But I'm gonna air the airbags back up and see how much of a difference it makes. Okay, so, so far the road test is going fine. Uh, the Jeep handles a lot better than it did when we first picked it up. The front end's not floating, so therefore more contact on the road with the front wheels, the better it handles. Um, pretty much it rides with the trailer on like it does stock, so um, no complaints whatsoever. I'm gonna try and go over some good bumps and see how it feels and basically go from there. So as you can see, the Jeep's not all over the place the way it was before. I'm doing 55 and before I put the airbags in, 55 on a little road like this, I'd be getting thrown all over the place because of the weight pushing down on the back and the front end being further in the air and not making as much contact with the road. So now with the airlift cool spring airbags in there, the Jeep's riding like it's supposed to. And okay, so here it is after. Before, the Jeep sat really, really low, and now it doesn't. With the airbags in, it might have about a quarter inch droop on it, but nothing like it did when we picked it up. It rides nice, it performs nice. I actually am really amazed at how different it performs with the airbags in, because um, on the little two-lane highways when we were coming back from Oklahoma, the Jeep was all over the place. I was completely fighting it, because the back end was sagged and the front end was lifted a little bit so the wheels didn't have as much contact as they should now it's you can't even tell the trailers back there I know I say this a lot but really you can't even tell it's there so universal airlift 1000s have rectified the problem okay so here it is with the spare back on and the longer drawbar um, put the longer drawbar on because with the spare on you can see it's pretty tight I did order a new DV8 spare tire carrier that's supposed to lift it up higher and out of the way so once that gets here I'll put that on um, really doesn't look much different it might be a half inch lower in the back than uh, without the trailer but all in all I'm speaking loud because that JL fan insanely loud but all in all it looks it looks like it works so I think I'm gonna continue to run the longer drawbar and uh, see how it goes so there you have it okay so with the longer hitch on there it actually handles even better so I'm going to leave that on and roll with that for now plus uh, it still tracks almost exactly the same way it was um, it's only a four inch difference between the two so at least with the longer draw bar on there I can utilize the backup camera when backing up to hitch up which will be easier for joy and I actually think it handles better so I'm gonna leave it on there it rides a little bit better to be honest with you and um, I think we're gonna go with that so uh, all in all, a successful road test, and um, that's pretty much how we did it. It's done. Okay, so as you can see there, there's the airbag inflated to 35. Now what I did is I ran the air lines. I don't know if you can see them. I ran it up over here, ran it up in through here, and then it comes around, and I put it into this spot here. The reason I wanted it here is because on the back of the bumper there's really not any spot for it I mean I could have mounted it under here but that could catch a rock that could catch anything so I figured right here would be a very good spot for it it's out of the way everything's zip tied up out of the way I'm probably gonna tuck this a little bit better but that's pretty much it did the same thing on the other side but as you can hear the rains coming in good thing I got it finished
Okay, so some of you are probably wondering why I didn't do a complete install video. Um, I looked on YouTube and there are more install videos on this than you can count. It's actually really easy. You squash the airbag down as tight as it'll go, let all the air out of it, stuff it up into the coal spring, which it went in. Super easy. And put it in, run your airlines, and that's basically it. Um, I did put the Jeep up on jack stands while I did it. Uh, just to stretch that coal spring a little bit, but um, also uh, you may have noticed in the video I kept saying draw bar when what I was trying to say was hitch extension Blame it. I'm watching too many Australian off-road videos. I kept saying draw bar, but uh, I did mean the hitch extension But um, yeah, it uh, like I said earlier, it's it, it rides absolutely amazing as you can see the Jeep's sitting pretty good sitting pretty level now and uh, couldn't be happier with the result. Again, I'll probably be putting some heavy duty coil springs on it at some point, but um, for now, I'm, I'm happy with the result. We can actually take it off-roading and camping once the, uh, once the weather lets up, because it seems like every time I have time off, it's um, thunderstorming, raining, hot, whatever. But, uh, but yeah, we're, uh, we're very happy with it. So uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching.